Hello everyone and welcome to this video today. I will talk about some spoilers, but since there haven't been that many new ones, I thought that I would just kind of recap and talk about some I wouldn't say older spoilers, but spoilers that are obviously not new, but I do believe that they will come very relevant in the near future. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot. Before I get into the video, I actually posted a video of me buying one of the new Finn horses this Wednesday, so if you're interested in it, I'm gonna put the link in the description and in the upper right corner. But let's get into the video now. So the first spoiler is actually a spoiler for what's coming next week. Star Stable Updates on Instagram posted these three pictures of the new shop and I mean it looks like any other shop in SSO. And Star Stable also wrote this for coming next week. They said new color variations of a popular clothing and tag set. I think this is really great because the community has been asking for, you know, recolors, just different matching sets for so long, especially on Instagram. I feel like this is a very big thing. And now it's finally happening, though I just hope that it won't be very expensive, like 110 star coins and you can't buy it for your Vic shillings. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm not all that optimistic about the prices. But anyway, let me know what you think down below in the comments. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is the new characters. So Star Stable has been kind of mentioning them and talking about them for quite a while. I think it's been almost a year since they started, you know, on different social medias, just talking in the comments of their Instagram posts and things like that. But we got the big confirmation when they posted Star Stable year in review coming together in an unstable year on their Star Stable blog. And here they said, finally and most importantly, we're revisiting the player model. Such a huge part of joining a virtual world like Star Stable is having an avatar that expresses who you want to be. We recognize how limited the current avatars are, they don't reflect our values or the diversity of our players. We hear you when you tell us how much this matters and we totally agree. We appreciate your patience and understanding as we begin this journey and look forward to your thoughtful feedback in the process when we are ready to share. Updating the avatars is one of the greatest challenges we've taken on, but we're committed to getting it right. I remember in one of their earlier like comments about this topic, they talked about how it's actually pretty difficult to create a new avatar as our characters interact with so many things in the game. But I'm really excited for this and they might have even given us some sneak peeks on what we can expect in one of their recent videos which is called Become the Ultimate Explorer for Easy Steps. So in the video there are a few small clues as to what we might get with new avatars. There's also a spoiler or a sneak peek about something else, but I'll talk about that later. So for the updated characters, there's some clues that we might be able to run faster, blink, eat food normally instead of just sitting there and some more stuff. We can definitely see a little bit how our characters are going to look compared to new NPCs that we get in-game. They look a lot different from our characters and I think they look great and honestly I can't wait for the new characters. In the same blog post, Starcy will also teased some new main story quests. They said, on the story front, we have big things in the works. The villainous Dark Riders will at last steal the spotlight. They were teased last year, but this year we mean it. In addition to a visual glow-up, you'll get to know these characters more intimately than ever before. I'm excited because the last time that we got main story requests was quite a while ago and though soul writing was a very big thing, it does get old because you just have to do the same stuff over and over again and 
I'm not sure, but did we even get any new main story quests after that? I'm not sure, but here are some pictures of Katya that Star Stable posted last year for the advent calendar and that's probably how she's going to look. But yeah, I'm excited, let me know what you think and let's get on to the next spoiler. A few months ago, some people have found some pictures and files of the supposed building mode. Here is one picture and in the description it says, this is building mode, here you can make different things like walls, floors and ceilings. You can mark an object by holding the mouse cursor over the object and clicking on it. Once you have marked something, a box will pop up where you can choose between different matching pieces, colors colors and patterns for the item you have marked. When you are happy with your choice, click on replace slash buy. Well, this isn't quite a while ago and I believe even SSO Theory Time talked about how there are files for different like colored, I forgot what it's called, but like some things in our home stable. But when we do get it, I believe it's going to be quite expensive because of course Star Civil just has to make it expensive. But this would be really nice to be able to kind of customize your own home stable. Quite excited about it and I hope that we get it in a few months. Also, in the video that I mentioned before, Become the Ultimate Explorer, Star Civil kind of teased as being able to use furniture. In this part, as you can see, they kind of mentioned it and I don't think they would just put it there for nothing, but I mean, you know, I don't know, that's just my opinion. Some new types of races have also been kind of hinted at. In the blog, Starcible said, there's a big milestone in racing coming up that we can't wait to celebrate with you. Races are one of the main ways you play Starcible every day and we want to improve the authenticity and the variety of options you'll encounter and make racing more rewarding. In like an interview or something, one of the Starcible developers, I believe, was also asked a question which was quest, race or theme you'd like to see in Star Civil Online. And she said the game is very focused on racing and jumping, but the older Star Civil single player games had the option to do dressage gameplay and I would like us to try it out again and add a more modern touch to it. I'm very fond of dressage in real life. I love how the horses dance under the rider in different dressage movement such as the flying changes or the half passes. That's why adding dressage gameplay would be the one thing I'd love to see in the game in the not so distant future. So I wonder if you know some kind of dressage races are coming soon but... There were also some screenshots of a supposedly new function which was to buy reputation. For example, you choose Moorland and then you'd pay a certain amount of star coins to get, you know, a certain amount of reputation. Now, if Star Civil actually does implement this, I don't actually mind it that much because I know that a lot of people can't really play that often and because of that they can't do a lot of quests like unlocking new areas and things like that. So I think it would be alright to implement this feature. This one isn't really a spoiler but a concept art from one of the concept artists at Star Table and I just thought that it was interesting. So here's a picture of like the deer from Wild Woods. I forgot what it's actually called. And here are the foresters, which look absolutely amazing. I love them. Do we actually have these coats in SSO? I'm not completely sure. And here is also the forester outfit, which I think is very nice. And it's just exciting to see kind of behind the scenes things. There's also the mysterious marching guest castle that appeared like a year ago above Golden Hills and Star Stable really hasn't done 
that much with it. They haven't updated it or kind of implemented it in any of the quests. I mean, you can go kind of near it, but you can't actually go there. I don't know if they're actually planning to do anything with it now, but here is how it looks on the inside. Of course, there's also the secret GED office and another area above Golden Hills. It was speculated that we're going to get that one next last year, but we got Wild Woods, obviously. Anyway, here is how they look like.
let me know what you think about the spoilers and as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed as always and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye